Hello and welcome back everyone. Here we are in the beautiful world of Subnautica and I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastically. Uh, right, so we have things to do but my first... Oh, I forgot about my knife. Uh, my first, first order of business is I'm going to drive my Seamoth over to the Aurora because I did see while I was editing the footage that I left behind a modification thing. So we are going to be going over to the Aurora and I'm going to go jump in the back. Okay, here we are, we're here, but let's first of all try out our little knife on one of these things. Come here. Okay. Hey, cooked hoverfish, hell yeah. Yo, you don't want to mess with me, sand shark. I've got a knife, I'll eat you. I'll try to eat you. I'm gonna try to eat him. Where is he? He went under the water, what a pussy. All right, you little big puss bag. All right, fine, well, we got one bit of cooked food. I think that's kind of cool, actually. Hello there, little peeper person. If you could just come a little bit closer. That is awesome. That is a great, great thing. I mean, it's not like it's going to change the game at all, but it's uh, it's nice to be able to make cooked food while we're out and about. Yum. Delicious. All right, we're going into the Aurora. I'm just saying that this had better be a good thing. I better not have come all this way to be disappointed. Uh, where was it? Here. Here it is. It is a, a depth module. Ooh, great. Well, I've already got that in my Seamoth, uh, but I guess uh, it's probably not even going to stack either. God damn it. I do want to get up there, but uh, that doesn't seem like it's going to happen. All right, well, we got a thing. Oh, take a battery. Sure. Uh, we got a thing. Let's get out of here. Okay, right. I think that's all that I actually wanted to come for here. And now what I want to do is because we can go down deeper, let's turn off some of these things. Hold on the floor water. We can find that later. Home's good. Good shit can uh, wait. Uh, I want to go down to... The Degrassi thingamajig underwater, 300 meters underwater. Uh, 200 meters underwater, either. Where, where is that? There. Bam. All right, we're going to try and go to this one. Let's just make it yellow so it's easier to see. And uh, we're going to jump in the sea moth and go and find it. And then we can explore down there, because before uh, it was too deep for me and I didn't really explore too well. Now we can actually go to 300 meters with the sea moth. I'm hyped. So let's see if... Can I put this in there as well? Does not stack. Okay, right. Well, good to know at least. And where are we going? We're going a thousand meters that way. All right, well, that's a bit of a trek, but I can do it. Basically, oh, shit. Basically, over at the Degassi thing, the there was all that purple stuff, which I think is gel sacks that I need to craft uh, some of my stuff at the moment, to craft like aerogel. So we're going to try and find some of that over here. Hopefully we get lucky with that. I guess it's kind of nice that I've got a second depth module for when this Seamoth gets destroyed. And uh, I need to make another one, which is eventually going to happen. I am so ex... Oh, fuck. Sorry. Sorry, little fishes. What is that? Laser cut fragment. Okay. That could have been useful at some point. Um, right. Yeah, I'm super excited to be able to go down deeper than I've ever been before. Uh, this is going to be super exciting. Right. Down the hole... Hopefully, we don't die a horrible death down here. The little sea moth. Oh, stay out of the way, little fishes, then I won't kill you. Okay, we are being chased by something. Right, so we've got purple... Purple shit here. Uh... What else is down here? I didn't really look... To oh, man, this is big. Oh, I forgot about the big sea penises. Oh, shit, look at that. There's a fragment of... Something there. Oxygen efficiency what is it? Nuclear reactor. Okay, I think I've already... Yep, yeah, we get it. Oxygen efficiency we get it, decreased. robot. We did not? Okay, that was a new thing. <gasps> Magnetite! You beautiful bitch. Okay, I guess this is where we want to be. Magnetite. Who would have thought it? What are these things? Modification station? Alright, we already know how to make this. Uh, I think I've already been in there and scanned everything that I need to scan. It was quite dangerous, I've got to say. Uh, but what I'm really looking... Oh, shit, look at that! A PDA! Uh, the gassy voice log? Oh! Oh, okay. Alright, let's get into the sea moth and get myself a little bit more air. And I'm going to try slicing uh, one of these big purple things and see if we can get some stuff off it. Let's... Jelly shroom? Damn! That's not what I wanted. Okay, well, those are quite big. I'm a bit worried about the big snake beasts up there. What the hell? Welcome aboard, what are those going to do? I feel like they're going to eat my shit. Uh, okay, right, well, let's have a little bit of a 
potter around here. Oh my god, look, more magnetites. Holy shit, this is actually heaven. Oh, I had something to scan there. Oh, cave bush. All right, maybe I'll collect a little bit of this to take with me. What was that, just seeds? Cave bush seeds. All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. Where's my ship? Okay, let's find some more magnetite, because honestly, this is what I've been looking for for so long. And if it's just growing out of the ground here, look at it. Oh my god, this is the best. All right, perfect. And let's also put it in here. Put loads of shit in here. There. Lovely. Okay, right. Uh, no, I think we need to stick with the sea moth. Let's not leave it behind because a beast could come over and destroy it. Warning. Maximum oh, fuck. depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay. Wow, I'm already at 300. I didn't really discover any new shit down here, but apart from just magnetite out the ass. Okay, stay away beast, stay away beast. Right, so I think we've reached our maximum depth here, which sucks a little bit. Uh, let's go for... Right, this is a pretty solitary cavern. Okay, right, well, I guess we can leave this place then. I'll go check out what's over here. Wait! Okay, we've got so much magnetite, though. This is actually a dream come true. After searching for it for so long, I'm so happy to finally find a bunch. And, actually, on the plus side, I know where to come next time as well when I want some more. Okay, let's go check in this other section of... Oh, looks like we've got more stuff down here. Right, so they were really planning to build a... Wait. How do I get turned around so much? I don't understand. Yeah, this is an extreme underwater jelly... <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh, this is the best. What do we got here? Wow, really? Nothing? Okay, that's a little bit disappointing. Right, there's got to be more down here. Ooh, lava and shit. Kind of cool. Right, we're 220 meters. Oh, God. God, it's quite shocking. Okay, have we got any more sh Oh, are these gel sacks? These look like gel sacks to me. I'm not a gel sack enthusiast or a specialist, but... Looks good to me boss. Okay, disappointing. Come on, come on. Okay. Very disappointing. That's quite upsetting. Ah! Come on, have be another gigantic ship fragment or something down ah shit ah shit there's a ceiling fuck oh god okay shocking shocking there is stuff making quite scary sounds i've got to say making this not so pleasant for me uh but i think i've explored everything down here and there doesn't seem to be any more bits of ship so let's try and figure out how i'm actually going to get out of this goddamn place yes this looks good oh this looks great is this new? Can't scan this. Alright. Oh, yes, we're going straight up here. Okay, so we got a decent chunk of magnetite. We could have got more. Probably going to regret that later, but for now, I'm happy. Hello? Stay back, beast. Alright, so what is this? I probably checked this out already, but I guess I should have a little peek. Maybe not. This doesn't look that familiar. Okay then, a new building. That's the wrong tool. Uh, I can't even, wait. Okay, I can't open that. It's quite annoying. Aha, we can just go in this way. Okay, I'm inside. 
They had a radio machine. Oh god, I feel so turned around in here. Everything's upside down, super upside down. Oh, it's hot. it's hurting my brain. It's hurting my brain. Supply crate, take some water. Yo, there's gotta be a battery charger fragment? No, I already got a battery charger. So what is the point of this ship? There's got to be a data thing somewhere, right? There, PDA. The gassy crew manifest. Oh, Instrument yes. New PDA data. Okay, cool. All right. I think that's all in that section. Ooh, it's a little crash seamoth. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. It is. Okay, let's see if we can get in this bottom part of the ship here. Okay, I don't think I'm getting the bottom bit here. Alright, well, at least we got a couple of things. And also, let's give those a uh, a listen to while we go and drive off wherever we're driving. Where's this fucking Seymour? There. Okay, so what do we get? We got multiple different things. And they're all Degassi survivor things. All right. Oh, no, this one's not. All right, Degassi crew manifest Marguerite Mida. Blah, blah, blah. Mercenary born, blah, blah. Okay, okay, that's just talking about who she is. Uh, we've got Bart Toggle's log, This World. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish. But I stare out the window, and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island... I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons to grow indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross. But there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access. But the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. Oh. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. He seems nice and positive. Yeah, it's okay, robot. He seems like a nice, happy chap. He's uh, enjoying his life, just, just checking out the wildlife, checking out the planet. He's not freaking out and losing his shit because uh, he's going to eventually die. Nah, he's loving life. All right, we got a new thing here. I don't know how I haven't discovered these in the past, but... Wait. Something to scan. Battery charging fragment? Don't care. All right, let's just get some more air, and we can check this out. And I'll take a bit of quartz. Why the hell not? Okay, and let's listen to the other one now as well. Pecking order. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? For enough money, she will. People always do. Word. Okay, right. That wasn't particularly interesting. That didn't really answer any questions, is what I was after question answering. Uh, okay, well, this was... something. But impressive is not the word that I would use for it. Okay, right, back into the Seamoth, and off on our adventure we continue. Passing 100 meters. It's all good. It's all good, computer. I really don't mind about being under 100 meters. All right, I really am looking forward to getting the new suit as well. So that then, hopefully, I can go deeper and the robot will just stop warning me. She'll just shut up about it and she'll just be like, You got it, Panda. 
You're the best. Uh, I guess I should go home. I'm miles away from home. We've got magnetite, so we can make a whole bunch of shit. Oh, is that my original base? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. All right, cool. Right, we're off. We're off. Ah, shit, but I still didn't get gel sacks. Gel sack. Grow on cave walls. Maybe there's just... Stop. Maybe there's just a cave down here that I can go and get a gel sack from. Let's go test it out. Okay, better idea. Let's take the sea moth and use that to check it out. Okay, going down. Maybe these... These could be gel sacks, right? That looks like... That looks like the same thing as before. Jelly mushrooms. Jelly shrooms. That's not what I want. I need gel. Oh, wait. Is this... I'm back at the Degassi again? Accidentally, this time? Okay, nice. Well done, Panda. Just give my Seamoth a nice little repair, because we can do that, because I know how to play the video game. Shut the hell up, everyone. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we've got a big trench here. Oh, it's not that big. But we can go much deeper than before. I remember coming over here, and there were loads of bone sharks, and I got a little bit freaked out and left. Uh, so let's have a peek here and see if we can find anything amazing. We can go to a new depth that we've never been to before. Yay. Oh. Yay, I wonder if we'll come up against gigantic sea beasts. Oh god, I could not deal with that. Oh, uh, I freaked myself out by thinking about it. Oh. It's deep. It's deep as fucking balls down here. Where am I? I feel like I'm near the aurora. The water's gone all... Okay, we're going home. We're going home. We're going home. I'm freaked out. Right, nearly home, and we can see exactly what we're going to be able to make here. Uh, hopefully a torpedo system for the Seamoth, so we can shoot torpedoes. That sounds amazing. Uh, and then from there, or what else? I'd like to be able to go down another 100 meters as well, to 400 meters. I don't know what we'll find down there, but I'm assuming it'll be something amazing. And can I just drive this? Oh, drive it in as fast Welcome as you like. Aboard, Thanks very much, uh, not Seamoth. And you know what I could actually do with making? I could do with making a dump station in here. Okay, construct the locker. I love these lockers. They are just game changers. Uh, right, let's put some table coral in here. Look at the magnetite. It looks great. Uh, then we need to get the stuff out of here. Okay, right, so what are we going to whip up here with this beautiful thing? Torpedoes. We can make vortex torpedoes, but first of all, we need to make this. Lithi- Shit. I bet I don't have any lithium. Oh, I have one lithium. Hooray! We're saved! Stabilizing. We're saved! Alright, I got one lithium. Uh, was that all I needed? Shit. Hull reinforcement. It hardens the chassis before collision, eliminating damage under normal conditions. Oh, Four diamonds. Hull reinforcement. That sounds really, really useful. Right, we need the sonar. That is the number one. Alright, so we need copper. Okay, we have the copper wire. Holy shit, Seamoth. We're gonna be cruising. We're gonna be in a happy spot here. See more sonar. Lovely. Now we want to make this. We need aerogel. Well, sure, I've got absolutely no idea how to find a gel sack. Uh, right, what have we been scanning for over here? We've been scanning for fragments. Uh, let's take a look on, through our cameras and see if uh, any new fragments have been discovered. I am not seeing any. I should probably bring this uh, camera back to the ship, right? Okay, my little baby camera is back home. Uh, can I actually plug it in here? Yep, 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 we can. Cool, alright, sweet. So let's start scanning for something different. Uh, heat area sounds interesting. Data box, creature egg, limestone chunk. Let's do stalker tooth. Because quite honestly, I have not found any of those stalker tooths. And it's probably going to be used for some sort of crafting recipe. And also over here we had all of this stuff. So I needed lithium. No, I've already done that shit. Okay, right, we want this. Poly... Poly... Anal... Right? Poly... Okay. What the hell is that? When it's at home? Okay, well, I don't know how to make that. Well, that's a shame. Okay, the Seamoth sonar is active. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you very much, Robot. Right, also one other thing that I'd like to build in here that I've not built is the medical... Okay, that takes... 
That takes a bunch of stuff to make. We gotta make some water for now. Okay, so the elusive quest for a mother trucking gel sack goes on. Oh, but apparently we found some stalker teeth. Uh, let's just go jump into the sea moth and hopefully, now that we've got that add-on in there, we'll be able to see it all on the radar and that will just make life an absolute treat. Do we have heads up display? Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, fuck off! God damn it! We do not. We do not at all. Okay, well, maybe we have a look on the cameras first. Okay. There's definitely stalker teeth out there somewhere. But where? But where? Hmm. Says that way, so west. Oh, there. There is one over there. All right, let's go and see if the uh, sea moth can find that. Wait, is, is there anything I can do in here? With these upgrades, scanner room upgrades. Stri oh, I need a computer chip. All right, let's do that first. Okay, I'm just trying to get myself a little bit of copper down here because I'm really always out of copper. It freaking sucks. So, I'm trying to do this and hoping just to find some gel sacks while we're down here, but it's not looking good. Hello, gel sacks. Shit, you Oxygen know, there is a lot of creature eggs. A ton of creature eggs, but I'm not seeing any anything that looks anything like a gel, a gel sack. So, great. Awesome. Okay, computer chip. All right, so let's get that module sorted here. Oh shit, what did I just do? I didn't mean to do that, no! I meant to do this. There we go. Okay, cool. And then we put this beauty in here. Wait, what? Where's my extra... Oh, it's on my body. Oh, shit! I thought I just meant so the sea moth could do see that stuff. I can see it too, just with my normal eyes. Oh, baby! Let's go, sea moth. Let's go. This way. What the fuck? The store is right here! Okay, yeah, go away. Bam! Stalker tooth discovered. Wow, that was really hard. It definitely was not just inches away from my ship, from my uh, from my base. Right. So what do we discover about the the tooth then? Stalker's teeth are usually hard and fast growing. Its elongated snout can deliver a huge bite and blah blah blah. So what is the use? Stalk teeth might have applications in enameled glass. Oh right. Okay. Sweet. Well. Pfft. We found one stalker tooth. Life is great. Okay, right, it is go time, Seamoth. Let's get cracking, my friend. We're gonna go find this data box. And if it is something that I've already seen before, All well, online. I'm not gonna be impressed. Okay, well, I've already explored this one, but by going in here, is that gonna take the marker off? Take the marker off? No, it's not. No, it is not whatsoever. Okay, I'm going to go on an adventure now. I'm going to find some gel sacks if it's the last thing that I do. Because that's really just what I need right now. And if I cannot find them, then I cannot make the stuff. So they've got to be out here somewhere. And I'm just being a noob and uh, not figuring it out. So let's stop being a noob and start being a pro. Not sure that I've been over this way before. Caves? <gasps> these! These look a bit like gel sacks. Passing 100 meters. Bulb bush. Oh! Oh, hello, Bone Shark! Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. It's a little bit spooky over here. I can't really see anything. Right, I need to repair my ship. Uh, repair the ship! Repair the ship! Good. No, don't access upgrades. No, no, none of that. Get in. 